Hi guys, welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty Soap Kitchen. Today we are going to make breakfast at Tiffany's soap shots. Well, what's a soap shop, Sulin? Well, stick around and I will show you. Um, I have made breakfast at Tiffany's bars with you guys. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the upper corner. So I, in here, I already have my oils my bentonite clay, um, obviously my colorant, my heavy whipping cream, and my yogurt for this batch. Uh, the fragrance that we use for breakfast in at Tiffany's is a dupe of A Thousand Wishes by Bath and Body Works. And this isn't going to be a real long video because, um, like, you know, it's just the one color and whatnot. So this is our Isis recipe. So in our lye water, we have both aloe vera juice, distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. So I'm going to put that in here, make sure to, to get it all out. It got really hot really fast here. Um, you guys are going to see this before some of the older videos that I've recorded just because I'm so excited to show you guys these. So let me get Freddie going here and get this all mixed up. Okay, there we go. I actually have one of these soap shots in my bathroom currently, the breakfast at Tiffany's. It goes with my my bathroom decor. <laughs> um, these bars are, well, they're, they're not technically bars. Um, they are what would be considered a guest size soap. They are anywhere between three to, uh, I'm sorry, three and a half to four ounces. Um, per per bar or like I said per shot I should say that's a pretty big shot guys so I'm going to add my fragrance in here this fragrance is so great to work with it doesn't rice it doesn't speed up trays it doesn't do any of those things that some fragrances can do Okay, now let me so show you what a soap shot is. This is my, I'm going to move you guys, so hopefully I'll make you sick. This is my soap shot mold. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Can you see the mold there? Okay, so I'm going to fill the cavities. And like I said, this part's really simple because this part doesn't take much doing at all. Ooh, sorry, I'm concentrating to get it all the way up to the top there without going over. These are one of the products that we make in all kinds of different fragrances. I actually have a special order um, coming up. She knows what fragrance she wants, but she hasn't decided because it's a, a sweet child of mine. I haven't made that for you guys yet. I will um, eventually make the bars. It's a big seller. It's Camu Camu is the fragrance we use for that. And she wants 16 soap shots, but she hasn't decided what she wants the main shell, what color she wants the main shell to be. So she said she would think about it over the weekend and get back to me. Let's get a little bit more in there. Okay. Let's see, this one could use a little bit more. And this one. And then we'll put the rest of it. I'll do it off camera though. 
uh, put the rest of it in a in my sample mold. So I'm gonna tap this. So I apologize for the noise. So we are going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours. Can you see that better? Does that work better? Now there's too much shadow, right? But we're gonna let it sit. Oh. This one needs a little bit more too. We're going to let it sit for 18 to 24 hours and we will unmold it. And I will come back and I will show you how we finish these beautiful things off. And I'm going to unmold this with you guys too. So that way you guys can see how it unmolds and whatnot. I love this mold. This mold is fantastic. So I will see you guys in just a second, but for me it's tomorrow. Hi guys, we are back to unmold our Breakfast at Tiffany's soap shots. And I wanted to unmold these with you just in case you've never seen this mold be used. So we're going to stretch it way out. And I like to do it, you know, at every point that I can because sometimes these like to stick. I don't often use my Hathor recipe with this mold because my Hathor recipe is a little bit softer than my Isis recipe. I did not put this in the freezer. Oh geez, let me fix that lighting. You guys can't really see much. Okay, let's hope, hopefully that works. So what I'm going to do, let me move this out of the way because that's where we're going to put them up. So we're going to push up on the bottom. And you can actually see the vacuum release off of there. And then pinch this and twist. So they, they come out nice and clean. And like I said, because of the mango butter content in my Isis recipe, these are not soft. Um, I've waited a little bit over 24 hours. I think it's been about 32 or so. As long as you just don't force it too much, it goes pretty quickly. Okay. I love this mold. Ugh. Sometimes it's difficult to get them out when there's so many in there. There we go. And twist. I make these in all kinds of different scents. Uh, the main one, that, the one I sell the most of in the Hawthorne line is a soap we call True, and it is our van Lavender Vanilla. Everyone loves that one. So, and like I said earlier, um, I'm waiting to hear, I have a custom order for 16 of them, of Sweet Child of Mine, which is an Isis recipe soap, but she's trying to figure out, because it's, um, you know, it's got a lot of colors in it, so she's trying to figure out which colors she wants where. She actually emailed me, um, I got it this morning, and said that what I thought of swirling the purple and the gold in this part of it, and I personally I think it would be beautiful. So we may be doing that. I don't know. Some of these shorter videos I think I'm going to start posting rather than on Wednesdays and Fridays. I will always post a video on Friday. But um, instead of the occasional Wednesday, I think I'm going to move that, that occasional day to a Tuesday. So they're not so close together. And I'm going to try to make those um, shorter videos for you guys. Okay, so we've got these all unmolded. And they don't need much cleaning up. Um, I will eventually, after they're... Uh, I'll give it probably five or six days and I'll plane the bottom of this. But I am going to mix up the batter for the frosting and I will be right back. We are 
just about at piping consistency. And this will cure white. Um, the reason it's a little bit off-white is the bentonite clay. <clears throat> I'm going to put just a little bit in this bag, and I'm talking a little teeny bit, because we don't need that much. This is to, to use as a glue for an embed that's going on the outside. And sorry, these bags are loud. These are my old bags. While I was reorganizing my kitchen. Ooh, I found some. And that just has a Wilton 2 on it, a uh, writer tip. And in this piping bag, we have a an open star tip. Woo! Thought it was going to go everywhere there for a second. Okay. There we go get all of it out of there although I think I made too much but that's okay you can make a cupcake out of it why not that's what I usually do with my leftover soap although I can make samples probably should make samples everybody loves breakfast at Tiffany's <coughs> okay oh, I can hear my phone ringing upstairs guess what <laughs> I'm not paying attention my husband left this morning to go on his annual fishing trip. This will be year number 24 that he's gone, and it's probably him telling me that they've made it, but husband has to wait because I'm making soap. All right, I'm going to pause you guys so I can push all this batter down and whatnot so you guys don't have to hear the bag. It's terrible, and I'm going to cut the top of it off, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to separate these. And the first thing I'm going to do is, do you remember when we made breakfast at Tiffany's, um, the bars? We have our little bows. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to attach these bows. Uh, they're still a little soft because I need them to wrap around. Uh you know, because it's circular. So I'm putting the glue, the, well, glue, the soap on the bow. And then what I like to do is lay them down. Let me go ahead and lay these down. And then I will set the bow on there and then just lay it flat to the surface of the the soap so it stays on there. I probably should have alcoholed that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to do these um, all and then we will fill them up. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's going to be stuck there. Okay. And if we get any seepage from this process, I have a paintbrush that I, like there, I just got some seepage. Let me grab my paintbrush. It's still got a little bit of water on it, and I'll just clean that up in a jiff. Get my washcloth. These paintbrushes are so awesome. My daughter bought them for me for Christmas because I'm a painter. And uh, Christmas two years ago. And um, she, without, because she didn't know, these are watercolor brushes. And I haven't ventured into watercolor yet. I work with a hard body acrylics. So she didn't know. So they're too soft. To be able to be used with my paint but they are so perfect for everything that I have to do in with the soaping and stuff and making embeds and painting them and that kind of thing well, if you remember when we made breakfast at Tiffany's um, upstairs when we made the bars I also um, dusted these 
with uh, um, with white mica, the French white shimmer mica. I will do that again as well. Let's, I'm just going to put this last bow in there and then I'll turn you guys off and I'll finish because you guys don't need to sit through and watch me do all four of them, or all eight of them, I mean. Okay. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys off, and we will come back to fill them. Be right back. Okay, now for the final step. Gosh, I got stuff all over my hands. Okay, so I'm going to spray with alcohol on the inside of each one. And then we're going to take our piping, ooh, which is really, really stiff, which is great for this. And we are going to make sure that we fill that entire, oh, I'm going to clog, hold on, that we are going to fill that entire area. Why is this? This is not that thick. There we go. Now it's coming. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, look what we did. I think I stick blended too long guys, but it's savable. I'll show you what we're going to do with the top. Okay, so I filled those up. What I need to do is get this back in a bowl. <coughs> get this back in a bowl. Because I added my uh, titanium dioxide to my lye water and didn't add any extra titanium dioxide. Oh, hold on, I gotta go get some distilled water out of the soap room. Okay, I'm just gonna use a teeny tiny bit of distilled water. Popping this up a little bit. I definitely stick blended too long, which isn't a big deal. Like I said, it's totally fixable, at least in this case. It's not always, because it's not the fragrance. This fragrance is beautifully behaved. I mean, like, absolutely, gorgeously, beautifully behaved. This was my bad for putting, uh, for uh, stick blending it too long. I'm going to get it nice and creamy again, like that. See, it's nice and creamy again. Yes, it is still hard, or uh, um, still firm, but it is definitely much more pipeable. You guys learn new tricks from me all, oops, sorry, that was loud. You guys learn new tricks from me all the time, but we are going to spray these. And now we're going to push down just a little bit and come up, 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 up. Dang it. Well, I guess these ones are going to be 
the old fashioned way. Oh, that makes me not happy. Because usually these are... piped differently. But... You know, you gotta go with what you gotta go with. I'm not gonna make more batter if I don't need to. I'm sorry, I'm not talking, guys. I'm concentrating. I'm trying to make sure everything is filled. And I can fix the tops with uh, a sculpting tool that I have over here. Alrighty. Because we need... I just want to put some little some little ridges in there. There we go. So, oh, let me wipe my hands off. You know what? I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'll have to change my gloves. I got too much stuff on my gloves, but let me hold it up for you. So we've got this little, oop, too close, too close, too close. Got this cute little, uh, what is going on with my camera? Okay, got this cute little soap shop. And I like to kind of pound them on the table there, just so the soap gets in there better and I will glitter these just lightly and of course paint the bows so we're talking just a itty bitty bit of glitter I'm not even sure you can see it but this is a soap shop and they sell very well for me I love them they're so cute they're perfect for a guest size soap and I'm sorry it was such a mess oh that is a mess guys a mess a mess a mess but, uh, yeah, we're going to start probably filming on, uh, putting out, you know, shorter videos on Tuesdays instead of Wednesdays. I wanted to let you guys know that. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, even though I made a big, huge mess. And, uh, you learned you can thin out your batter a little bit as long as you didn't, uh, put too much water in it. So... I will see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye. I wanted to come back really quick and show you that they actually all did work out. See how pretty they are? Hopefully you can see how pretty they are. Oh, shadow, shadow. My bad. So I just wanted to show you that they actually all did turn out just fine. And you can save soap. You really can. So it just takes you, it takes practice. That's all. So I will see you guys on Friday. Bye bye.